Hello to all traders and welcome back to another video brought to you by Orbex. Looking at stocks today as the earnings season keeps on giving for a few companies. A little bit of mixed results yesterday as Tesla did actually beat on earnings and revenue. However, Boeing were down over $600 million operating loss after a big surprise because a lot of analysts did expect them to actually uh, turn a profit in the last few months of 2022. So quite a big downturn there. Boeing shares dropping 3%. Tesla shares up by 5% percent in after hours trading so quite a big uh, role reversal there but Tesla is saying it is going to bring a lot more this year in car production so we'll see how far that goes but you know supply chain issues factories closing around the world it does have a little bit of um you know, that bad taste in a lot of traders' mouths where they can't really trust on what the fundamentals are saying at the moment. So Tesla's still looking to bounce from its yearly lows that will check the charts out shortly. But as I said, Boeing is just slightly down in after hours trading as well. So looking on the charts at the moment, as you can see, just wanted to point out this double yearly low, you know, going back in the height of the pandemic in August 2020 that we last saw these prices. But since then, as you can see, a nice little bounce is forming. And I was asked this a few times times on uh, the interviews that we've done on Bloomberg uh, Arabic in the last few months. Where does Tesla's stock look to be going? Well, since it's hit this bottom now, uh, it looks like traders are really starting to see uh, some more potential in Tesla for 2023. And that's why we're seeing this bounce up to a, roughly about $144 in after hours trading as well. We are expecting a little bit of a jump when the markets do open as well. We'll just zoom in to see what the opportunities are at the moment. So, with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud, we are seeing that we will get some kind of resistance at the lower border of the cloud. And this gives us the impetus that roughly around $155, it's got a little bit of time to move. $150 to $155 would be a good psychological level to see a correction in this uh, slight bullish channel here before we possibly see another leg higher. So this is what we'll be looking at in the near term at least. If we look on the four hour chart though, we're getting a little bit more of an impetus that you know, we are engulfed in this cloud now and we are seeing possibly that when we get to this top border, like I said, roughly in the middle of $150, $155, um, we will see a slight correction and then possibly another move higher. As you can see on the RSI, we are over bought on this particular level but it doesn't mean that prices will fall dramatically at the moment we are expecting a slight correction and then possibly another move higher but we'll see how it all goes obviously we've still got the legal wrangling with twitter as well uh, that could overshadow this uh, tesla news because obviously elon musk is uh, being out and about and obviously he is you know whatever he does say on his Twitter feed or on social media, it does actually affect the markets sometimes. So just keep an eye out for that. Boeing, on the other hand, we're just looking now, it was going in a good direction at the moment. We are expecting uh, Boeing just to keep on pushing a little bit higher because we are seeing now, you know, these previous levels that we've seen in the past, these previous peaks from not so long ago, you know, only about two or three months ago, the end of no middle to end of November, then we saw obviously this uh, kind of harmonic uh, butterfly pattern uh, emerging. And what we're seeing now is the fact that we could be hitting a peak and ready for a reversal, a sharp reversal for Boeing. So just keep an eye uh, that if we do hit these particular resistance areas, roughly just over $220 area, we could actually be in for not only a correction, but a f a quite a big reversal as well. But with the latest news coming out that you know the operating profit was missed and that they did make a loss, then this is quite detrimental for the company. But they have had quite a lot of lows in the past with you know fatal crashes and other bad press. Uh, but as you can see on the four hour chart, you know, we were looking at this nicely built bullish channel. And at the moment, it does seem to be like it's going to continue for a little bit longer. We're just waiting to see now if we're going to start piercing the uh, top border of the Ichimoku cloud, start push pushing down lower, below the $200 handle, which is quite psychological for a lot of traders. And then down we go to other forms of uh, support as well. So Keep an eye out for earnings season if you are checking the stocks uh, and make sure you are looking at the dollar and gold as well because these are heavily influential. We've got the Fed uh, meeting next week as well. Okay, there are a few days away from it, but just look for little ripple effects of what uh, not only the Fed chair Jerome Powell, Jerome Powell will say, but obviously other um, Federal Reserve um, Committee members as well. So just keep an eye on that and we'll see what happens in tomorrow's trading and I'll bring you the latest in the big news and we'll speak again tomorrow. Have a great trend day ahead and bye for now.